Hey guys, it is Danny and welcome to this video, our second countdown video to the start of the 2021 Atlantic hurricane season, which as of now begins on the 1st of June. So we are 92 days away from the official start of the season and the start date might change. And so we will discuss that later down in this video. And there are just a few updates to note. And so guys, before I go into details, Please subscribe and tap the bell so you know every time when I post a new update. Okay guys, so first let's take a look at the current satellite view of the Atlantic and we see that there isn't anything going on in terms of tropical activity for the Atlantic Basin. Just a cold front right there coming down from North America which is eventually going to dissipate. This has been the trend since winter and um, as time goes by we're, start, we're going to start to see more favorable conditions to accommodate tropical development. And let's look at other factors that help to influence our systems and so let's first look at the ocean temperature map and we're seeing here that the Caribbean is of course warm because it is in the tropics so it's warm all year round but most of the basin as well as the main development region they are quite cool at this time which is expected we are just in march but as time goes by we will start to see a trend of increase in temperatures and so guys next let's take a look at the wind shear map and so we have the different colors here showing different shear intensities and we have the Greens meaning favorable, meaning that there is the environment right there in terms of the winter is favorable for tropical cyclones to develop. And the yellows meaning neutral, the reds being unfavorable. And we see that the reds are really what's dominating most of the Atlantic basin. As I said, we are just in March, so of course no tropical cyclone activity is anticipated at least for the next couple of weeks. And so guys, now let us talk about... The recent news from the World Meteorological Organization, are they going to be changing the start date of the hurricane season from June 1st to May 15th? And we don't know as yet, but we will know in the coming, I believe, two weeks from now or so. By the 15th, I think, they're going to be having their meeting. And we're also going to be hearing about which names are retired from 2019 and 2020 hurricane seasons and what their replacements are. And so, let me know in the comments, what names do you think? think might be retired and what might their replacements be so let's see how that goes in a couple of weeks and also even though the world meteorological organization is contemplating whether to change the start date of the season or not the national hurricane center will start issuing advisories as in their scheduled updates as of the 15th of may guys so by may 15th we will start to get the routine updates i believe it's 2 a.m 8 a.m 2 p.m and 8 p.m each day throughout the hurricane season and the ending of the season is not going to change it remains as november 30th it's really the start date because in the last six consecutive years we've had preseason storms and we've had a lot developing in may so that is the reason they are thinking of putting the start date further in the year and that is eventually going to be extending the period of the hurricane season by 16 days so guys that is really it for this video and so if you found it to be quite informative please give a thumbs up and you can also share your thoughts in the comments or ask questions i'll try to respond as best and as soon as i can and of course remember to always be otherwise and i'll keep giving updates as time goes by